David Hoth has dyed his hair blue three times now, and every single time, he's shaved it all off. How do you feel? Lighter. <laughs> <laughs> About five pounds later. It's part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation's Go Blue or Go Bald campaign. Pa's daughter, Jasmine, was diagnosed with a heart condition when she was just four months old. She's had four open heart surgeries since she was uh, eight months old. Her last open heart surgery was a month after our Make-A-Wish trip. Three years ago, the Make-A-Wish Foundation sent Hoth and his family to Disneyland. This is David's way of giving back. Once you're a Make-A-Wish family, you're always a Make-A-Wish family. This is the 10th annual Go Blue or Go Bald event, and every single year, the North Middlesex firefighters have joined forces with the Make-A-Wish Foundation. A couple years ago, they left a little tuft of hair in the back, and it was there for two days because no one thought to tell me they missed the spot. Densmore says the reason they take part in the event every year is because of the kids. Once, once you start to look into Make-A-Wish and you start to watch the videos on YouTube, it doesn't take very long at all to get pretty pretty uh, emotional about it. Once you get kids of your own, it's it's like a light switch goes off. I, I get pretty blubbery pretty quick. Around 25 participants came out to Westmount Mall on Thursday. They were all given hair dye kits in advance and most had sported their blue locks for around a month. The first two to sit in the hairdressing chairs were TJ Cutt and his dad. My brother had cancer and he got his wish, so I just wanted to do it. Both young and old participated in the event. While some were part of Make-A-Wish families, others were drawn to the cause by word of mouth. My hairdresser years ago asked me if I'd do it and I've been doing it ever since. I look forward to it. I just love doing it and my head feels great. <laughs> go Blue or Go Bald is part of a series of Make-A-Wish Foundation fundraising events. They're hoping to raise $80,000 in total. For XFM News, I'm Lainey Lambrink.